Hi, welcome to the numeracy 5 a day answers for the 29th of April. Our first question says, work out half of 17. Well, half of 16 is 8, and half of 18 is 9, so our answer will be 8.5. You could also do using the bush shelter method. We could have done 17 divided by 2, and we would have got 2 into 1 doesn't go, remainder 1. 2 into 17 goes 8 times, remainder 1, and 2 into 10 goes 5, so the answer is 8.5. The next question says work out a quarter of 182. So to find a quarter of a number, we divide it by 4. So 182 divided by 4. 4 into 1 doesn't go, so 0 remainder 1. 4 into 18 goes 4 times, that's 16, remainder 2. 4 into 22 goes 5 times, remainder 2, so put a decimal point and a 0, carry on the bus shelter, remainder 2. And 4 into 20 goes 5 times, so the answer would be 45.5. And let's just check that by doubling. Doubling 45.5, well doubling 45 is 90, so doubling 45.5 would be 91, and doubling that again would be 182, and that's it. Okay, our next question. Our next question, we've been asked to write three tenths as a decimal. So to write three tenths as a decimal, we could do this in a few different ways. First of all, we could do three divided by 10, which is 0 0.3. Another way which I, I like is to just actually write what we say, three tenths, and that's 0 0.3, three tenths. That's it. Our next question said write for three tenths as a percentage. Well, multiplying 0 0.3 by 100 would be 30%. Or just knowing that one tenth is 10%, two tenths 20%, three tenths 30%, and so on. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, Junior is shopping for Christmas. He buys a scarf for £8.75, a game for £12.99, and a book for £9.50, and he has £200. And we've been asked, how much money does he have left after the shopping trip? So let's first of all add up the £8.75, the £12.99, and the £9.50. That will tell us how much money he spends altogether. So £12.99, £8.75, and £9.50. When we add those up, we get... 9 plus 5 is 14, so put the 4 down, carry a 1. 9 plus 7 is equal to 16, plus 5 is equal to 21, plus 1 is equal to 22, so put the 2 down, carry a 2. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, plus 9 is 19, plus 2 is 21, so put 1 down, carry a 2. And 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So altogether he spends £31.24, pence, and he's got £200 altogether. So we're now going to need to do £200 subtract £31.24 pence to see how much money he's got left. So 200 Point zero zero subtract 31.24 and just lining up the digits so zero take away four we can't do so we're going to need to borrow now we're going to need to borrow all the way from here there were two so we'll cross that out and call it a one and that's now a ten cross that out that's now a nine and a ten cross that out nine a ten cross that off nine and ten ten take away four is equal to six nine take away two is equal to seven nine take away one is equal to eight nine take away three is equal to six and one take away zero is equal to one. So the answer would be 168 pound and 76 pence. Okay, our next question. Our next question is to do with multiplying and dividing negatives. So the first question says two times a blank is equal to minus 16. Now a positive times a negative is equal to a negative. So this will have to be a negative number. Now we want two times something to be negative 16. So that's gonna be eight because two times eight is 16 and two times negative eight would be negative 16. Our next question. Our next question, we've got blank divided by 3 is equal to minus 15. So that means if we multiply minus 15 by 3, we'll find this number. Well, 3 times 15 is equal to 45, and 3 times negative 15, a positive times a negative is a negative, so this will be minus 45. And let's just check. 45 divided by 3 is 15, so minus 45 divided by 3 would be equal to negative 15. Okay, our next question. Our next question, we've got to work out 3 eighths of 32 pound. So we're going to find 3 eighths of 32, so we're going to take 32 and divide it by the denominator. So we're going to do 32 divided by 8, which is equal to 4. And then we're going to times that by the numerator, so we're going to do 4 times 3, and 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So the answer would be 12 pound. Our next question is to work out 20% of 60. So 10% of 60 would be equal to 6, because we just do 60 divided by 10 to get 6. And then, if we know what 10% is, we can double it to get 20%. Doubling 6 is equal to 12, so our answer would be 12. 